on the question of US, uh, China, and AI tech, who, who stands where? Who's ahead? Who's losing? Well, the first thing I would say is this is a race where at any moment in time, the leader is probably leading by a matter of months, mm -hmm. not years. Mm -hmm. Certainly here in 2023, I would say the U.S. is in the leadership position. Um, that's fundamentally be because of this partnership between OpenAI and, and Microsoft and the DeepMind, which was acquired by Google. But every day we're racing with the Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence, with a company like Baidu. Um, and there's no reason to assume that one country or the other will have a sustainable leadership position. We're all going to have to keep racing ahead. I think to some degree, we also have to think about both the development of AI, but then the deployment <coughs> of AI. Because ultimately, this is a race that is probably going to be won by a country or set of countries that deploys AI more broadly and more quickly in a manner that will both lead to its ongoing improvement and the productivity of their economies more generally. Now, if there's one thing we all have, I think, probably in common, is that we haven't been to China since before the pandemic. And so I think it's really hard to take stock completely of what's happening in a place without going there. Mm -hmm. If I go back to pre-pandemic, mm -hmm. I always felt at that point that China was not yet at a point where it was on par with, say, the U.S. in developing AI, but they were going much faster in deploying it. And I'll be very curious mm -hmm. to just go back and see how we take stock of that and what that should really remind us of, I think, in Europe and in North America, Japan, South Korea, is we not only need to develop this technology, we have to put it to work including in the defense sector, but more broadly, obviously. Mm -hmm.